Why do hot tubs make my skin feel so dry? This is actually a really common complaint, and there's a number of different reasons why this could be, but I think most commonly, the number one reason why this would happen is high sanitizer levels. And sanitizer in a hot tub would be typically bromine or could be chlorine. And at low levels, they help to keep the water safe and sanitize bacteria and organic debris that's introduced to the water. But in high or at high levels, it would definitely be uncomfortable to some people. Everybody is different, and some people are more sensitive than others to things like uh, chemical imbalance in the water or high sanitizer levels. But typically speaking, if you were in a hot tub with high sanitizer levels, then it would be pretty common to feel as though your skin was dry after you got out. Uh, so I think that would be the first thing that I would be looking towards is test the water and see what the you know the variables are um, for the chemistry. And pretty often you'll find that the sanitizer level can be too high just because hot tubs are so small. It doesn't take a lot to really overshoot. You know, in a swimming pool to add way too much chlorine, well, you'd notice because you're just dumping in jug after jug of chlorine. In a hot tub, it wouldn't take much. If you throw a cap full of bromine in, or was it two capfuls, you can't remember. It could mean the difference between, you know, an acceptable level and a level which is much too high and very likely to make your skin feel dry. But there could be other things. And the next most likely candidate that I would look towards is a pH imbalance. And a lot of people kind of take it for granted. You know, the pH scale is logarithmic, so it doesn't really sound like a big deal. Like, oh, the pH was 7 instead of a pH of 8. Does it, sound, it doesn't sound like a big difference, right? It's just a pH of 1, 1 difference. Well, a pH of 7 would be 10 times more acidic than a pH of 8. And when you say it like that, it kind of sounds like a big deal. Like if you kind of notice in general, you're, you have sensitive skin. If you were in water that was 10 times more acidic than what you were expecting it to be, or what if it's terribly managed water? There's a lot of people out there that do a really bad job of managing their water. What if the water was 100 times more acidic than it was supposed to be? Would your skin feel dry when you get out? Like I imagine it would. So that's why I always refer back to if there's a problem or if you're having any kind of reaction with hot tub water, the very first thing you want to do is get a water sample, get a detailed analysis done because you want to see if there was something going on in that water that might tip you off to what's going on here because it's very inconvenient if every time you use a hot tub, which you're supposed to be using to relax and feel better, and then you get out and you've got problems like dry and itchy skin, that's very irritating and something that you'd like to solve. And it can be kind of hard to solve problems like that, surprisingly. So one more thing that I'd like to say about uh, you're getting out of a hot tub and you find that your skin is kind of dry, kind of itchy, it could be that there's a persistent bacteria in the hot tub. And specifically, if you notice that you kind of have problems where the jets were, that's where you specifically are having the most problems. Well, that's kind of the hallmark for there being bacteria within the plumbing line, something called biofilm. And when the jets are turned on, you know, some of this biofilm, this kind of gray gunk junk strips away, and it you know flies through the, the pipes and out through the jets and it hits you right in the back. And the thing about it is it's, it's already hot water. So your pores are open and then you've got this kind of like really awful bacteria and it gets like jet propelled into the open pores of your back. Well, you could get out of the hot tub and notice, oh, my back's kind of itchy everywhere where there's a jet. Or if you used uh, feet jets or calf jets in your hot tub and you've got problems back there, it could be something in the plumbing lines itself. And that's why it's so important to use a pipe flush every time you're going to drain and refill your hot tub. But in total, those are the things that I would be looking at if you're having a problem with itchy skin every time you use your hot tub. And it might be worth exploring the use of borates in your hot tub at 30 to 50 parts per million. The primary function of this is to help buffer the pH movement, which is nice because pH movement in hot tubs is something that you kind of have to deal with all of the time. So it would help you to buffer that. But something that people tend to say about borates in hot tubs is it changes the feel of the water. The water feels a lot softer and often is compared to salt water pools or salt water hot tubs because it does have a kind of a softer, less drying feeling. So if I wanted to use a hot tub and I was having issues with dry skin, then I would explore the use of borates at 30 to 50 parts per million. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
and you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.